Hello, World Wide Web! I'm Vegas Shadow of the Universe, now that I've and welcome back to Geometry Wars 3 Dimensions Evolved. Or Geometry Wars, I guess, as the announcer so kindly told me, but never mind that, Robux. We did, we did deadline last time, we got Gate Dash, Game Mode, Pacifism. I feel like I'm going to die. One life, no guns. Trigger gates to reach the target score. Okay, trigger gates. Trigger gates. Remember how I fucked up on that last time. Massive. Okay. Uh, it's open. It's open. Can I shoot? No, I can't shoot. Blip. So is this just a sort of speed run here? Shit! I hit the edge. I know I can't do that, but I just fucked up. It said no lives, didn't it? I don't know. Okay, I can still run to the wall of the arena. I tested that there. So I gotta get a good combo on this one going doing this shit. By trying to keep control of myself and not flying like an asshole. Shit, tits! Uh, well, I technically did it, but I want to do it again to see if I can maybe do it better. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I've. I'll just upgrade your drone to improve what? Oh, fuck. Oh, well, no problem. Fuck! Okay, let's... Yes, yes, I'm trying again. Super to increase its power. Okay, just eat, just, just take it, just take it. Dude. You know, don't have to be absolutely perfect to do better than we did last time. Last time we did pretty damn bad. Fuck! <sighs> ah, dang it. I think we just barely got two stars there. Yeah. King Hot Dog. No guns outside King Zones. Reach the target in only one life. 500,000 in one life with no guns outside King Zones? The fuck is a King Zone? What's a King Zone? Tell me what King Zone is. What's a King Zone? Oh shit. Oh fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, no problem. Fuck! I tried to shoot him like a dumbass. Ah. So do I still have to leave the King Zone to get my little multiplier gems? Because that's gonna make it a bit of a pain in the ass. Fuck pity! Oh. I mean, I got this guy here on my side to try and make it so it's a little... I can go and get him, but I, I, I'm not going and getting him. I'm suck ass. My little miner, he ain't mining the shit.
fuck, 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 fuck. No! Oh, the fucking spinner was right there in the middle of where I had been shooting. Really? I was trying to go get the little gems and the points and the bullshit, and all I found was the bullshit. Okay. Really? No! Oh, you green shit! I was about to slide into the DMs, be all happy and shit, and you had to come. Hook it up. <sighs> hey. Okay. Game mode rainbow in cubism. Okay, well, sounds sounds fun. One life only. Do not let the painters change the whole grid. It's like reverse Splatoon. All right. What the fuck am I way? And it's hard to tell what the hell's going on on the other side that I'm going like this and this. And how am I supposed to not let the painters change the whole grid when they just start painting as soon as I fucking up, as they appear? Like, all they gotta do is spawn and that's that's it. I, they, they already did a little bit just by existing. I kill them as soon as possible and it's still too late to stop them from doing it. I mean, oh dear. Okay, it says 11. Okay, so it's based on the grid. There's 1100 little points on the grid that they can paint, and I'm trying to keep them from painting. And they just keep fucking doing it. It doesn't really matter what the hell I do. They're just gonna keep it up. I'm, I'm supposed to defend some of this at some point. I guess when it gets small enough to only be a certain area, I can defend it. Unless they spawn on it, in which case I can't, because it's just gonna be fuck you. to see the painters on the side, kind of, but dear fuck, are they painting real fast? Not that shitter! Oh, so close to the 500,000 target. I know collect gems to increase your multiplier. This is what you do. This is geometry wars. Geometry wars. All right. Now, this would be kind of trippy in virtual reality. Maybe a little bit easier. I don't know. Maybe not. Oh, fuck. I mean, like, what if, what if uh, I actually had to walk around in circles around this little thing and just like observe it from all sides? Well, when it comes to above and below, that'd be a, it. it be a bit more of a workout. It'd be unnecessarily complicated, I guess. But as a, hey, you just have this float in front of you like this, it would look cool. Kind of like, you know, Tetris effect. 
like Tetris in virtual reality, and everyone jumps up and down and says, oh my god, it's virtual reality's killer app. I was like, not really. It looks cool, as do many things in VR, but it, it's it's Tetris. It clearly does not need VR to work. It's it's Tetris. Motherfucker! Now, when it comes to a lot of things in games, a lot of people say, well, does it need such and such to work? And it's kind of funny, because it's like, when the 3DS came out, the 3D effect wasn't needed except in, like, I mean, Nintendo did make a couple of things where the 3D effect was necessary in order to really do the game part. Like, uh, in Super Mario 3D World, certain rooms where it had a puzzle that it was a sort of... The way it worked is it was... It looked a certain way in 2D, but if you turned on the 3D, the, your depth perception allowed you to see what the layout of the level really was and do the platforming properly. But uh, people still were just all the time saying, well, it doesn't need 3D. I don't know why it needs this. Such so as talk about why, why does it need that? A half of what gaming works is you don't need the things set up exactly the way they are. They just are set up that way. Like, you, you don't really need two sticks to make a shooter work. Ah. But... I mean, shooters do work well with two sticks, and we do know the two stick method very well right now. It's been used in so many things. It's quite ubiquitous. It gets me when people are saying, oh, I, here's an old game, but they have look set to the left stick and uh, move set to the right stick, and that is so... Ah! And it's like... You're just not used to it. It's just as effective as move with left stick, low with right stick. You just aren't used to it. Like inverted controls. I don't use inverted controls. There are people that do. People that do swear by them, people that don't swear not by them. It's just, what are you used to? Reach the target score before time runs out. Aight. But, uh, but there's the argument of do you need X? If if not, then why are you adding it to the controller? It's like, well, uh, maybe because it's a what? Are we okay, that's how that works. Okay. So maybe because it's uh, cool and fun and adds something. It's it's nifty to play around with, and you could do something with it at some point. Ah, uh, it's like any fuck. Any game on uh, Wii U that didn't use the second screen for anything particularly... Oh, of course, I just... Anything particularly amazing was... Uh, it's just a waste. You don't need that second screen. But if you made it so the second screen was required, people got annoyed that you needed the second screen. It is... It's kind of... Frustrating. Oh, snicks. Oop, okay, fuck you guys. I didn't have another bomb. <laughs> oh well. Oh, I'm sure. Oh shit. I was looking at my score instead of what I'm doing. And I think I was right. Oh wait, no, I made it. <laughs> oh. Okay. <sighs> uh, people. 
Get on PlayStation VR saying, since the Move controllers don't have analog sticks, then you can't really have local motion. Some people have straight up said that you can't do sm smooth local motion in PlayStation VR because it doesn't have analog sticks on the wands, and it's like, this is after many games have come out with smooth local motion. Like, Skyrim is in, on PlayStation VR full-featured except for the lack of a third-person view. Evolved. Reach a target score in only one life. 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 Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's see if we can do it! Or if I can do it. Uh, oh, motherfuck. Alright, classic. That classic Geometry Wars music. I know this tune. I also don't know how to get to the target score in only one life. Uh, it's just it just get it gets me or hey uh. Plenty of games on PlayStation VR that have smooth locomotion without analog sticks, and then still, there's people constantly saying, "Oh, it, you, you need to have analog sticks. Make new move controllers with analog sticks because you can't have smooth locomotion without them." It just no game can have smooth locomotion if we don't have analog sticks. It's like analog sticks aren't even a natural way of feeling how to move in virtual reality. So, I mean, it's. Not analog sticks aren't better for VR. They're just okay. I just barely made it. I guess analog sticks aren't better for VR. They're just what people are more used to in general. <sighs> I personally would like a. Uh, I would like a omnidirectional treadmill, but most that I've heard of really don't work too well. So. Best you can do is room scale, really, and uh, like try and work around a good room scale system with what? It's like right now, the best you can really seem to do with VR movement options is try and go for room scale and uh, fuck! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh shit! Fuck cock! Uh, try and go for a room scale, like have a decent sized room scale combined with wireless VR. Like wireless controllers, wireless headsets, preferably lightweight, and just allow people to be able to move around in a full 3D space. And that's the most natural feeling uh, movement in VR right now. Smooth locomotion when you need to move large distances is also nice. Uh, teleportation can also work to be in a large enough play space for room scale VR. Uh, that's that's kind of what I'm hoping for with the uh, PSVR 2 on the PlayStation 5 is Arkin! <sighs> PSVR 2 on the PlayStation 5 I'm hoping has fuck I I hope it has Better tracking, support for large room scale spaces, uh, analog sticks on the wands would be okay, at least shut people up, but I would prefer if they would come up with, you know, maybe something a little, oh, fuck it, a little more tactile and uh, something that translates a little better to VR, because I, 
don't know about you, but uh, aside from a game controller, I can't think of anything that I generally hold that would feel like I'm holding something in virtual reality that happens to have an analog stick on it. Or two. Fuck it! Why you titties pit? Sponge shitting fuck. Okay. Let's I I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I am perfectly sound mind. Sound garden. Sexy time. All around. Everyone loves the sound of a pound. But yeah, I think this would look really nice in VR. Not because it would help it play better. It looks it would probably still look sharper just in general, but like one of my uh, favorite games on 3DS in the early days uh, was actually Pac-Man Championship Edition because it just uh, it was a simple 2D game, but just the effects of it in 3D, seeing the little uh, numbers for your score just lift up off the screen in 3D is really cool in my opinion. I very much enjoyed it. Oh god! Oh, that was way too close. Alright, I'm gonna die real soon anyway, but still. Yeah, no, got no bombs. Okay. Okay, I think I'll accept that. Achievement unlocked. Geomastic. Jumptastic. 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 Okay. Prepare for a missile frenzy as the homing super takes over. Takes over. Takes over. Okay. Whew. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be leaving this here. This has been Geometry Wars 3. The Dimensions Evolved. Yes, I played it enough times to remember what it's called. And it's still a lot of fun. I'm still pretty sure no one's going to watch it except for like, maybe like 20 people. Give or take. It's kind of, kind of how these go. It's like everyone already knows there's like no story. It's just, hey... Watch me scream at lights for 30 minutes. And that was, that's really not as much of a draw as some people might think. But, thank you all for watching. I am Decker Shadow. And remember, smash retry until you get it right.